Hello, smart, successful lady bosses. This is Chanel Washington, profit strategist, serial entrepreneur, registered nurse, business consultant, pumpkin pies mommy, and Philly girl living in the A. And I work with smart, successful lady bosses, helping them earn their next six figures. I also help my clients take a single source of income and turn it into recurring revenue streams. Now, today's class is uh, basically me breaking down uh, my 10K plus month content strategy four steps hi cuz how are you hi Donna uh, welcome my uh, system what's working uh, in my business basically so let me invite a few of you in the room I was on live this morning um, did a no replay live consulting session that was awesome uh, thank you for those of you who joined me there and uh, now I am back. So uh, if you're watching the replay, uh, please go ahead and um, type replay in the comments. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, let me know if it's your first time watching. Uh, and it's just so good to see you. Good morning, Roberta. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning, Whitney. Good morning, Monica. Good to see you ladies. Okay, so uh, let me talk about this, right? Let me talk about these four steps, four steps, um, because this morning, uh, as I was um, doing the live consulting session, I realized, good morning, Brenda, how many times content marketing continued to come up as one of the solutions and one of the key pieces that are missing uh, with many of you who are looking to scale your business to 10K months, months plus, all right? Um, so, I'm going to get into it um, and give you just a little bit of background. Hey, Rochelle, how are you? A little bit of background uh, on how long I've really been doing this. Um, I've been an entrepreneur for 18 years. My first business uh, is called Indigo Fair Beauty. And I started that business with a $500 startup and grew it into over 200 k in just one revenue stream. And a big part of that uh, is content marketing, right? Was content marketing. I was uh, doing a lot of video marketing, blogging. Uh, I had video content on my own website. Uh, I had YouTube videos up. Wasn't, you know, there was no live stream at that time. This was years ago. But I would always capture... Uh, hi Jocelyn, I would always capture video content when I was out at events. Uh, hi Tamika, welcome. And I would come back and upload it to YouTube. I would take those same YouTube videos and go embed them in my blogs. I had various blogs. Um, interesting story, I had one blog that I started a domain name uh, called My Natural Styles. And a uh, big lesson in that, I took that domain grew that blog uh to uh very 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 successful a lot of traffic so successful that uh it was hacked away from me somebody got into it on the back end and it was malware and a virus and it it, it, it was just uh not a good situation i had that repair and then i ended up lapsing the domain and i lost it out of just not keeping up with things and somebody bought it, <laughs> somebody bought it, you know, uh, because I was not paying attention. So that's something really, really important. And make sure as you are building up your assets online that you keep yourself locked down. And, uh, you know, I did all that work, got all that traffic, built that community, and, um, and I lost the domain name. So that's a lesson. That's a lesson to learn. Uh, what else was I doing? My email marketing uh, was always something that I um, was consistent with in my first business, and I continue it in, in this current business. Um, you know, sharing out tips, doing audio note, uh, audios, um, videos, downloads, you know, so many things. Good morning, Chica. Good morning. Uh, so content is where it's at, ladies. Content, original content. And it worked in that business, uh, you know, took me from an online unknown brand uh, to a loyal following of 
clients who were happy to pay me premium for my products, you know, clients overseas, wholesale clients in London. Uh, so it, it really can be transformational in your business. So right now, I just want to ask you before I get started, how do you feel about your content? How do you feel about your content marketing uh, on a scale of one to 10? You know, with 10 is like, listen, you know, you know that you're slaying it. You're showing up. Welcome Sydney. You're showing up. You're highly visible. You're adding um, immense value uh, to your community and to your niche. You're demonstrating your expertise and uh, it's, can, it's consistent. So Monica's giving herself a five. Hey, Ife, even if you're watching this in a replay, go ahead and type it. Tamika's struggling in that area. Okay, um, Colleen. Um, what is your struggle, Tamika? What is your struggle? What is your struggle? Give yourself a five. Okay. So I'm going to be breaking down. I want to hear some questions from you. Throw out some questions. What questions do you have around uh, when I say, you know, uh, content marketing, you know, 10K plus months, what comes to mind? What is your struggle? What would you like to be able to do? Post it in the comments, whether you watch it now or in the replay. Uh, and I'm going to just uh, take a moment to, to see if I can give a little bit of insight even in this live stream, you know, for what you are specifically challenged with. Okay. My coffee is cold. <laughs> My coffee is cold. I do have some water here. But um, I'm going to give you a moment to, to share. Hey, Leslie. So Tamika says, okay. She has great content, but she just doesn't know what to do with it. Okay? Great content, but she just doesn't know what to do with it. Awesome. Let me get that down. Okay. Yeah. That's key. One of the things I'm going to be talking about. Very, very key. All right? Okay, Edith's here. Okay, everybody, throw up the hearts, okay? Uh, Tamika's issue is that she has great content, but she doesn't know what to do with it. How many people are in that um, position? How many people are struggling with that, okay? Yeah, because if you don't know how to get the eyeballs on your content, right? Like, what good is it doing your business, okay? Uh, what good is it doing your business? So. Let me talk about the strategy that's worked for me and my business to grow to uh, 10K plus months uh, in Radiant Living Biz. And I'm really, really excited to just break this down for you in four steps, okay? Four key steps that, that I am uh, using. And if you've been following me through this month, uh, only the 12th day of the month, but it seemed like we covered so much already when it comes to content marketing. We did a, a Canva tutorial Canva 101 um, we did a post um, we did several live streams on content ideas some of them were so juicy I had to take it down no replay right uh, we did um, we did I did a post on uh, how to distribution tips uh, I did a post on um, engagement okay uh, that was huge I think I think that was actually a live stream on engagement tips so let me break down, try to pull it all together, how all these things come together and what I'm doing, the four things that have been working. So it all starts with number one, okay? Uh, let me see what, kind, what Monica has to say first. I use problems that most businesses have or fact-finding questions to provide a solutions or how I can help, but sometimes you run out of content ideas. Mm -hmm. Run out of content ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, so um, now let's talk about what's been working, all right? Let's talk about what's been working. Uh, the first thing, go ahead and put a one in the comments, okay, if you're ready, okay? Go ahead and put a one in the comments, all right? The first thing, it all starts with creation, right? It all starts with that creation, and um, I do my work in advance. So I have my calendar, I have my strategy planned out for um, over a period of time, okay? 
and um, then I began to uh, do my brainstorms and my research, okay, to come up with my topics, all right? So I brainstorm and I research. It's a specific way that I do it, okay? There's a very specific way that I do it. Uh, and I take that um, and I document all of it, uh, typically on my Trello board, okay? Um, I might get started in the notes section of my phone, or in, but then it ultimately goes to the Trello board, okay? And uh, so that I can just, you know, uh, store everything uh, and keep it organized. Uh, it also gives my team an opportunity to, um, you know, uh, see, you know, where I'm working. So this is like the raw material, right? Uh, so the first thing is, you know, creation, right? Uh, being at a point where you, you know exactly that you are um, creating content that makes sense with your business goals, that makes sense with the needs of your um, dream clients, right? Um, and then you decide, you know, how are you going to present that content? And, you know, whether it be through graphics, text to graphic, social media posts on Facebook, on, um, on um, Instagram, on Twitter, on LinkedIn. Uh, then, of course, your videos, your either, you know, pre-recorded videos or live stream topics. Uh, downloads, turning it into a PDF download, a checklist, a guide, an uh, infographic, um, podcasts, and webinars. So time to create, right? Uh, documenting these ideas um, and housing them and getting them all out first, right? Uh, so that's the first step is that content creation and making sure that I have the right amount uh, for the time frame that I'm going to be doing this particular campaign. That's number one, okay? Number two, the second the second uh, step is my distribution and my scheduling. Okay, so like you said, you have it, all right? And now the second step is the distribution and the scheduling. I have it, but it's not doing anybody any good if they can't see it, right? So I need to distribute it. I need to schedule it. Um, I need to do the right mix of automated and manual, okay? Uh, again, key way uh, that you want to do it, all right? And most of you, I'll tell you, are not... Um, distributing enough you are under under sharing your content okay uh, very rarely will I look at somebody and say that's too much very rarely have I ever seen that right it's just typically the wrong mix the wrong mate ratio uh, or it's glaring pieces that are missing okay uh, so you just because you're sharing content doesn't mean that it is the right content to get you to those 10k plus months does that make sense okay uh, so just because you're sharing content it doesn't mean that it is the right content and it's the right distribution strategy to get you to your money goals all right that's number two okay that's number two scheduling and and, and distributing What's going to show up on a weekly basis? What's going to show up on a daily basis, right? And on which platforms, okay? What's going to show up on a weekly basis? What's going to show up on a daily basis? And then on which platforms? On which platforms, okay? All right. So this is helping so far, ladies. That was number two. If you're ready for the third step, if you're ready for the third step, put a three in the comments. So uh, we've had creation, we've had um, our distribution and scheduling, having the right mix, the right ratios, okay? Um, the right platforms, okay? And now for the third step, all right? Thank you, Ife, thank you, Monica. For the third step, um, what I do in the third step is a couple of things, right? Um, I capture, all right? So I capture those leads that um, I have attracted, okay? I engage with those leads, okay? Again, 
specific portion of it is um, using software and some of it is manual okay and then um, I am also nurturing and inviting so it's like a four parter <laughs> in in step three so once that I have I've attracted by creating and then sharing uh, through distribution and scheduling right now that I have your attention now that I have leads what am I going to do with them this is very key. A lot of you are missing this, okay? Now that you have the, the, the attention, and some of you have leads that you don't even recognize as leads. You don't even recognize as warm leads, okay? Because you haven't been taught, okay? So capturing, how do I capture them? So that I keep them in relationship. I keep them in front of me. So that next month when I roll out what it is that I'm sharing, right? those same individuals, okay, are going to see it, be first to see it, okay? Welcome to Mika, welcome Romy. I'm here sharing my content marketing strategy that's gotten me to 10K plus months. Uh, four simple steps, okay? I'm not gonna say simple, I don't know how simple they are. <laughs> four steps, all right? I'm trying to make it simple for you. Uh, capturing, engaging, nurturing, and inviting, okay? Capturing engaging you have to know how to do it all right nurturing all right uh and then inviting inviting them to do what inviting them to go where what is the next step right you have to have a clear uh path to understand what are you doing now that you have your attention now that you've engaged with them now that they're uh you know interested now that they are um, you know, want to know more, what is the next step, okay? What is the next step, all right? So that's three, capturing, engaging, nurturing, and inviting. How many people are struggling around that area, right? Once you get the, con once you get the content out there and you're getting eyeballs on your content, what are you doing now? Do you feel stuck on what to do? how frequently you should be doing it, right? What tools do you need to do it? Hi, Tina. Good morning. Is it still morning? Hi, Valerie. Welcome back, right? Okay. So once you've, once you've shared that content, once you've shared that amazing live stream, once you've shared um, that, um, that really powerful Instagram post that you've gotten so much engagement on, okay? Now, what do you do now? What do you do, okay? Even going back to some older content that really performed well, right? How do you leverage that? How do you optimize that? Hey, Shelly, okay, right? I figured out what works in my business um, to hit my money goals consistently, all right? Hey, Brandy, capturing, number three, capturing, engaging, nurturing, and inviting, okay? Capturing, engaging, nurturing, and inviting. How are you nurturing those people that you have uh, the intention of, that have come closer in relationship to you, right? How are you serving them? How are you taking care of them? How are you helping them reach their goals faster? Okay? How do you know uh, when it is time to take that relationship closer, right, to become your client? How do you know? right? When people are asking questions, when people are in your inbox, do you have a clear um, process to be able to go from follower, right, to client, right? Well, when is it time for that? Is this making sense? Those are the three steps so far. I have one more step, okay? I have one more step. Uh, talk about 10K plus months consistently, didn't start there, started at around 2K, right? In less than a year, right? Scaled my business to this point, right? Content marketing is a big piece of what it is that I do, all right? Helping my clients earn their next six figures. Without content marketing, right? Um, it's not likely <laughs> to happen, right? As you're growing your business, and if you're not leveraging on social media, if not, you're not using, um, you know, uh, the opportunities that are available to us online, okay? And it is a mix. 
Some is free, some is paid. Okay. Um, the fourth part, if you're ready for part four, put a four in the comments. Put a four in the comments. Okay. Those of you who are coming in, you can certainly go back and watch the replay to get the earlier tips of what it is that I'm sharing. Okay, put a four in the comments. Let me tell you, this final step is the one that requires the most discipline, the one that kind of freaks people out the most, <laughs> The one that that will trigger a lot of limiting beliefs, that you will sabotage your own success because you've taken it step one, step two, step three, and now we have step four. And if you drop the ball and you're not doing this right, right, you won't hit your money goals. You will not. Your, those clients that you nurtured, right, that you attracted, that you've educated. Somebody else is going to serve them if you don't get all four pieces and get them done right, right? So number four is follow-up. I know you've heard it before, right? Is follow-up. How are you doing it, Chanel? How are you doing it? How are you staying consistent, right? How are you doing it without feeling like you're bugging people, without feeling like, you know, some kind of way? Right? How do you how do you keep from letting those uh, those lower mindsets right uh, interfere with your success and your ability to transform the lives of your clients? Follow up is so key. How many people are? Tell me how many times a week you're following up with those people who have engaged with your client content. Let me know in the comments. How many times a week? Are you following up in a concentrated effort for those who have engaged those relationships that you've built, right? Uh, let me know. I would love to know. If you watch it, watch it in the replay, go ahead and say follow up X amount of times per week just so I know, right? Follow up how many times per week? Mm-hmm. You know, um, yeah, there, there's just, you know, uh, a, a lot of people can talk the talk about what it is that they want to earn in their business, what kind of business they want. They want this freedom, you know, uh, they want to make a difference. Hello, Carlina. They want to make a difference. They want to be, um, you know, sought out for their expertise. They want people to see the value, okay? But typically, um, they don't have the right blueprint. They don't have the right strategy. They don't have the right support. So you end up spinning your wheels, doing a partial job that's incomplete, and it's not getting you results. So then you end up getting frustrated, down in the dumps. Like, you know what? This is just not working. <laughs> Right? Why is this person over here getting this success and this results? Maybe I just, what is it? Right? You're missing the right training, the right information, the right support, the right expert. Okay? If you've been listening, you've been listening to this, all right? And you're saying, Chanel, I get it. Right? I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, I definitely need help. And some of the things that was mentioned earlier, I'm running out of content. If you're running out of content, how can you finish, right, the rest of these four steps? How effective is it going to be? If you have great content, but you just don't know what to do with it, how can you, right, end up hitting your money goals, get into these 10K plus months? How is it going to happen? Please, it's incomplete. The system is broken. Inbox me right now, okay? If you know you need my help, if you're serious, you're ready to invest in your business, you're ready to work, you're tired of trying to figure it out, you're tired of trying to piece things together, you can't go another month with an incomplete, broken content system. It's the core. It's the core of online business. Who do you know that's succeeding, right, 
uh, in any niche right now that's not killing it in content. Please tell me. <laughs> right? Everybody's not doing the same type of content. Right? Some. For some, it's the YouTube. For some, it's the email marketing. For some, it could be, you know, yes, uh, Tamika saying she admits it, right? So, so listen, once you recognize it, you have to be the type of individual. You're going to be one or two types of individual to watch this video and many of the other videos that I get. You're going to get it. You're going to see the problem, and you're going to take action right now. And you're going to inbox me, and you're going to say, Chanel, I need the help. Help me fix my content. I need 10K plus months. And I can't continue to just be wasting time. Why let, what are we in? January, February, March, April, April, May, May. We're coming up on June, halfway through the year, right? And you're going to do June, July, August. You're going to go through the whole summer with a broken system. Spending money on, because you have some ex expenses. If you're here, right, you're showing up online at a minimum, right? At a minimum, you have a cell phone. At a maximum, you have, um, you know, uh, lead pages, A Weber, Recur Posts, uh, Virtual Assistant, website, e commerce, perhaps, right? Um, what else are we paying for? Acuity. I mean, booking. You you have expenses, right, for your business. Welcome back, Kayla. Welcome, Cheryl. So you, you're putting out these expenses, all right, but you don't know how to get a return. You're showing up, but you're showing up halfway, half-ass, whether it's intentional or not, right? You got to be honest with yourself. If it's broken and you're not either you're killing the content or you might as well go home. Seriously, either you're here to show up, right, make a difference, make an impact, attract your dream clients that you deserve who are ready to work with you, okay, right? <laughs> you're so funny, Crystal. Yes, this is live. Um, or it, it, it's just not that important to you, right? So either clear out for those who are, who are ready to really do it at 100% or better, right? Because 30%, 40%, some of the way, I got the content, but I'm not distributing. I can distribute, but I don't have the content ideas, you know? And I don't know how to do it by myself. If not, I'd have done it by now. You need to be in my inbox. You need to be booking a call. bit.ly forward slash next six figures. I work with smart, successful um, lady bosses, only those who are committed to entrepreneurship right you've invested in your business uh you continue to look for new opportunities to invest in your business and you do the work and you look for a return you look for you understand that this is an investment it's not a cost right so you're like okay this is high value i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna flip it right i'm gonna work with chanel and you're gonna see the difference in 30 days Right? I'm not just going to work with somebody or reach out to something and uh, eh, uh, I'm staying lukewarm. I'm staying, you know, like somebody that just can, you can just keep scrolling. Because you're not really showing up in, in, in a way, you know, that is um, compelling, right? People need to stop in their tracks when they come across you online. How else can you expect that to convert? to a significant, consistent income that you can rely on month after month, right? But some of you, you got to twist your arm to do the work. You got to twist your arm to show up. You got to twist your arm. I'm not doing it, right? I only work with those uh, who are ready. That's where I put my energy, okay? That's where I have to put my energy because it's a lot of people online that talk to talk, but when it's time to do business, they get amnesia, they don't, they forgetful, they get all kinds of things, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> Can't do it, all right? So I'm about working, I'm about results, I'm about supporting my clients, okay? For those in my community that are getting value, thank you, I appreciate you. But this is serious for me, you know? This is serious, this is about, um, you know, 
freedom in my life and the lives of my clients. We have invested. I love seeing this. I love seeing your name pop up, Chanel, with the same spelling as mine, right? So, um, you know, I have the ability. You stuck with content. You don't have to be stuck with content ideas. You stuck with content ideas. If you stuck with content ideas, it's because you want to be stuck with content ideas. If you don't know how to distribute, it's because you don't know want to know. Because I've already figured it out and I've already demonstrated that you know um, the success month after month. So if you if you know if you know that to be true, if you're ready to stop making excuses, if you're ready to um, invest what it is required to learn in your business, every single month you should be you should be growing. Every single month, right? You you should be uh, connected to someone who is helping you win. Welcome, Denise. Welcome. But those of you who don't. The, 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 the results are obvious. You're not winning. You're not hitting your money goals. You're not growing. You're staying stagnant and confused. And that's exactly what you deserve <laughs> if you continue uh, with those kind of habits and those kind of traits. So I say it and it might sound a little harsh, but I do it intentionally because, you know, I need Radiant Living Biz clients uh, to be winning. Right. So if it, I clear it out. So for those who are about, um, you know, not not serious um, and who don't reflect the work ethic of my brand, I don't want to be associated with it. Right. It's a it's a drain. It's a drain. So um, if you got value from this, uh, I'm glad. Right. This is it. This is the four things when it comes to content. Right. The four things that I'm doing. Right. To go from 2K months to 10K consistently in my business. There's no reason why you can't do it. The only thing that will hold you back is you. It's your decision, your overthinking, your excuses, your, your lack of willingness to invest in your business. You can't get this whole picture through freebies. It's not going to happen. So don't say you want to replace your 9 to 5. Don't say when you see me again in the beach, on the beach in Jamaica that you wish that was you, right? But you're not willing to do the same things, right? That people who are freeing themselves and who are creating a significant income in their business are doing, okay? So, hmm, I don't know. It's getting mighty quiet in here. But y'all know I got to tell it like it is, okay? Uh, I got to tell it, tell it like it is. So the only people who are welcome in my inbox, let me just say, the only people who are welcome in my inbox are smart, successful lady bosses who, number one, believe in themselves, who are ready to invest, and who are ready to do the work. You should just be asking me, Chanel, what do I need to be doing? Okay? What do I need to be doing? This is what I've done up until this point. This is my goal, right? I see myself at 10K plus months. What habits do I need? Uh, what products do you recommend? What program? This is where I am right now. What do I need to be doing this week? Right. What do I need to be doing this month, this quarter? Okay. What do I qualify for? Okay. Um, otherwise, it's just a waste of time. Right. We're not on here for show. I'm on here to do business. I'm on here to get results. So if you're not a results-driven, accountable boss, <laughs> and when I say boss, you know, I say it because um, it takes a certain level of persistence. It takes a different mindset. All that doubtful, scary, fear, you know, lack mentality. I don't want it around me. It's 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 a new day, right? And I, I only can continue to go to go higher, right? Right? So for those who ne can never find the time, it's never the right time. It's never the right if it's not the right time, don't come in my inbox. If it's not the right time, do not waste my time asking me questions, saying what it, if it's not the right time. If you haven't gotten enough value from me, you don't trust me, you don't believe I can help me, go to my YouTube, scroll back on my pages. I have tons of content, all right, uh, to let you know if I can help you or not, if you feel I'm caught. But if you come close enough, you need to have made up your mind already um, about that. Otherwise, I'm going to look at you crazy. I'm telling you right now. Hi, Charlotte. Because the higher I go, the more opportunities that come in my web that I have earned, right? This is my work. This is my sacrifice. This is my blood, sweat, and tears. I'm not letting anybody take up my air and waste my damn time. So I'm just telling you, okay? I'm just telling you right now. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Tina. Some of my best success story clients are here. 
When they came, they sought me out, right? Does that mean they're perfect? No. But they didn't come with the excuse. They were serious. And let me tell you something about it, right? And why I say, when I, and some of you reach out to me, you see, I asked you specific qualifying questions because it'll tell me, right, the potential. Hi, Erica, I see your, I'll, it'll tell me something about you, right? What you've been doing up until this point, right? If you've never invested in yourself before, not even in any small, three months went by, last three months, you call yourself an entrepreneur. What have you invested in? Zilch, zero, nothing, nada. It's not likely, <laughs> right? It is really not likely, especially for those of you who have been doing this for a minute, okay? You've been doing it for a minute. You've been trying it on your own for a minute. Hey, Erica, right? But um, you, you, you just haven't, that's crazy. I cannot tell you how many things I have invested in from digital products to coaching to conferences. Like, it's not a no-brainer. I don't have to sit here and be like, you know, come, you come, and then you start letting every other, because you find money for every little, this MAC lipstick I got, my hairstyle, from this to that to the camera to everything. When 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 uh, when uh, iPhone, when Apple say, this is the, you don't even look at the price. I just say I want the iPhone 9. I don't even say how much is it. Let me. I just want it. I want it, so I get it. But when it comes to your business that you're struggling in, that you know uh, you need accountability for, you know you're not making the sales you're supposed to make, you know you don't know how to show up the right way, you know shit is missing in your business, but you come and you want to ask me a 50 million questions? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Don't do it. That's why I show up, because I show you right what I'm working with. And obviously, you haven't been looking uh, long enough. And I just, I, I just say this because I got a clean house about once a month, right? Because people share the live streams and new people are going to come around. But do not, I'll say it again, do not inbox me if you're not serious, if you're not a person that looks to invest, if you're not willing to risk, take a risk losing money. Because that's what entrepreneurship is. It's no guarantees. It's no promises. Tina worked with me. It was no guarantee. No promise when she invested her money, right, um, to get knowledge, to get support, right? She took a chance. It's a chance. You take a chance on a lot of other things, right? But when it comes to your future, your future, that's why a lot of y'all going to stay dependent on a damn paycheck and what somebody else says you can make, okay? And you will never be able to make a significant amount of money. I, let me watch my mind. Let me be careful. But let me, let me be careful. I like to be uh, mindful of my words. But... A lot of you, okay, uh, are, are going down a path, okay, where you will be watching live streams for the next five years, hoping and wishing. You'll be watching live streams, watching people surpass you because you would not, you overthink, you make excuses, and you stay average. Your mindset is broken. Guess what? Everybody's mindset is broken. Most of us, because that's how we were conditioned, right? That's what... Uh, you've been taught. You haven't been taught and conditioned and grown to be an independent thinker, to be someone who takes accountability for your life. You've been conditioned to be uh, a child to your employer, right? <laughs> That's really what it is. They take care of you. You take care. You do what they say. They take care of you. You do what you, they say. Now, welcome, Marquita. Welcome, Wanaki. But when you become an entrepreneur, right, nobody is going to say, right, I promise you this for that. You're going to have to be the one to write the ticket to say, I'm aiming for this, all right? Let me find out what I need to do from somebody else who's already gotten there, okay? Or somebody else who has some key knowledge to help me break through anything that's in my way to get to my goal. I got to get up in the morning knowing what I need to be doing. I got to try some stuff and some things might not work. I might make a mistake. I might have a setback. I'm going to fall down. You know, I'm going to have distractions over here. This person's not going to support me. It's going to seem like, you know, all these things are against me. But I'm going to wake up every day and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it any damn way. With no promise, it's no promises in this. Right? See, some of y'all are so conditioned with so such safe, you know, um, 
well, I can't press. Just seem like I just can't. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Can't do it right now. Can't do it right now. Never going to be the perfect time. It's never going to be the perfect time. The ones who get results, right, or the ones who do it scared, or the ones who do it when they feel like they don't have the, all the money, but they invest it anyway, and they say, you know what, I'll be damned if I don't get a return. Good morning, never. I'll be damned if I don't get a return because... Listen, I put down, right? I invested in my business. I'm going to get back in everything that I can, okay? Not in a lap mentality, but that's business. That's a business mentality, right? What, what the heck? Like, you getting inventory. You getting, some of y'all sitting there with inventory right now, but you saying you don't have this or you don't have that. You got, you got money because you got inventory, but you don't know how to sell it. Or you don't know how to let people know, right, what it is that you're doing, all right? I, st I, I started from, I can turn nothing into something, okay? That's the, I, ha I can turn nothing into something. So now that I have something, I really know how to work, but it's no excuse. I have people sitting and telling me, oh, it's a problem. You, you diagnosing a problem. You ain't, get, you ain't got nowhere, but you diagnosing your own problem. Well, I think the problem is this, and I think the problem is that. Now, you don't know what the hell the damn problem is because you haven't, you, you're not successful enough. You haven't been able to accomplish enough to see what the problem is. You need to get with somebody that can help you see what the problem is. I work with my clients. We got started this week in Radiant Business Academy. And I had an intention, you know, um, to do a certain thing. In a month. But once we got started, I mean, I'm just drop, I'm, I'm just fixing problems, like shifting stuff like a damn tornado. Whoosh. <laughs> it's like whoa like and i didn't even sometimes you don't even realize like how much you have inside of you and how fast you can transform some stuff right and i'm like wow like this is hugely beneficial hey tanya right right but you think because you looked at an instagram post or a youtube video or something Oh, I, well, my problem is... No, you don't even know what your problem is. You need an expert's eyeballs to diagnose what the problem is and then to tell you how to fix it, right? But so many of you, you're lukewarm, you're mediocre, and I say it, and if I... Then prove me wrong. If, if No, Chanel, you're not talking... Well, prove me wrong. Because action takers, people that watch, and they get a red, and they're like, oh, that hit me in the gut, that hit... You know what? I don't care what else is going on. I can't go another day, right? I, yeah, honey, I've been up. I've been. Up. I can't go another day being average. I can't go another day not having my shit together. I can't go another day wasting my talent. I can't go another day with one stream of income. I can't go another day paycheck to paycheck. I never seen so many working people. I never seen so many professional people, right? Who still choose, right? And I said it's a choice. You don't choose to invest in your money and your business. When I, work with, when I was working and I had my good job with my title and my desk, okay, right? Yes, I, I had, my link is bit.ly forward slash next six figures. Uh, get on my calendar for next week, all right? Inbox me today if you can't even wait and you're like, Chanel, what do I need to be doing in the meantime, right? Uh, because what people do, this, this window, you have a window, you get emotionally charged up. I don't care. I don't. My intention is not to entertain you and get you, even though I love to have a good time, right? If you're not moving forward, if you're not shifting, if you're not having breakthroughs in your business, right? Like, that's what it's all about for me, right? That's what it's all about. So many of you are sitting on money right now. You sitting on money and you don't even realize it, right? Thank you, Tanya. Bit.ly forward slash next six figures. Smart, successful lady bosses only. Those who trust me only. Those who believe in themselves only. Those who will are the true definition of an entrepreneur, which you are willing to risk losing money to make money. I'm going to say it again. You are willing to risk losing money to make money. But a lot of y'all are imposters. But it's because you won't risk nothing, right? And you won't, real, you won't risk anything it's not even a risk. If you can do it and, and not even blink an eye, that's really not even a risk, right? But you don't even believe in yourself enough, okay? That's where a lot of the doubt comes in and a lot. You don't believe in yourself enough, right? In my Mindset and Money Mentorship Program, 
It's about cultivating the right kind of mindset. I, if y'all know, I've had some things, and I know y'all see me on like Chanel, just oh, she's consistent. She got pumpkin pie. She blah blah blah. I got some bad news this week, right? I got some news this week on the on on the, on the night before. I had an opportunity of a lifetime, right? An invitation to an opportunity of a lifetime. The night before, I got horrible news. Like, it just shook my world up. It was just broke my heart, right? And I had to quickly, quickly decide, okay, Chanel? You're not at a desk where that money is just, you know, that paycheck is just that same hourly rate. All you got to do is sit at a cubicle and maybe you could just go in the bathroom and cry and just sit at your cubicle and that check is still, you know, you're getting those hourly rate or that salary and you're going to get that check anyway. No, man. All right? So you get a window of time to feel a certain way, right? And then welcome Sheila. And then you and only you can decide that you have to continue, right? What it is that's not, it was a lot, it was some things I did not feel like doing. I just wanted to maybe just lay down or call some people or talk about it or whatever. I had to quickly, right, quickly align my spirit and my consciousness and my mind, right, to what I've already committed to do to be successful. A lot of you are not conditioned to do that because you don't have the information. You're not around people who are doing that. So you fall into what every damn body else is doing, which is be average, which is allow, you know, everyday life stuff, right? Everybody else's stuff, right? And it can even be your loved ones. It could be your loved ones, but I'm sorry to tell you, guess what? Especially women, right? And that's who I serve because as a woman, right? We have husbands, we have mothers, we have children. We have, you know, so many people who, you know, aunts and, and nieces and nephews and, you know, best friends. And we, we have a heart, you know, an open heart that could be, easily influenced and easily strayed by so much ish right that can throw you off your game if you're not doing the necessary work to keep you focused to keep your mind to say i'm going to get up and be positive no matter what i see no matter what is going on no matter what looks like a distraction you can't just fall into the same old way that everybody else behave and it's Except, expect to be exceptional, expect to have an exceptional bank account when you believe, when you acting like everybody else. No, ma'am. Right? You're not put, you're not, you're not manifesting that. Hey, Kim. Hey, good to see you. This title, I didn't, I didn't took it all the way to another direction, but that's okay. I can do that. So, um, listen, this is just a wake up call, ladies. I, I mean, you know, I, 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 I say it. Um, because I talked to countless women, right? Countless women. Um, and it's the same patterns, right? It's the same patterns. Oh, Chanel, this is going on and, you know, this and this happened and it's always going to be something. You got to be steadfast, okay? You have to get yourself fortified to be steadfast that I'm like, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be unshakable. I'm going to be unmovable, right? I'm going to show up, right? The same time every day or I'm going to show up every day. I'm going to do the same thing that's going to take, that it's going to take for me to get results. And if I don't see those results, right, I'm willing to do whatever is necessary. Whatever is necessary. It's not always a comfortable, it's not a comfortable, you know, ugh, it's not always comfortable, guys, Right? It's about really having a belief in yourself and what it is you're doing and saying, you know what, I'm willing, uh, welcome Lorna, welcome Taisha. I'm willing to do the work even if I don't see an instant result. This is not instant result, you know, type of, type of lifestyle, right? You got a, I got an invitation on Friday that I'm like, wow. You know, I wasn't surprised because I'm like, I've been, I earned this. I've been showing up for this, right? I've demonstrated something that somebody sees something in me, right? To invite me to this kind of opportunity to be able to write my own ticket with my skills. Are you cultivating your skills in that way, right? Are you? So that opportunities will come to you, right? 
People are happy to pay you for your expertise, but you have to be strengthening that expertise. You have to be showing up, right? So the title of this live stream was <laughs> my 10K plus, right, content strategy. I wrote down the four things that I'm doing. If you just come in and later, go back, listen to the replay. Uh, for those of you who catch this at another time and you you get something, uh, you know, something sparks something in you, you know you need to get on the phone with me. The link is bit.ly forward slash next six figures. And uh, those of you who say, you know what, Chanel, did you really have to, you know, yeah, because when you don't have an option and you're working, you're, you're somebody's employee and you don't have a choice who you sit next to, you don't have a choice who you have to like be in these Monday morning meetings with. You don't have a choice who you're working with, right? In a leadership team or uh, certain projects. I have a choice who I work with. I want to love the women that I work with, right? So I'm attracting, I'm speaking about only that which I want to attract. Smart, successful lady bosses who are ambitious, who are accountable, who look for opportunities to invest in themselves, who are willing to get uncomfortable, who are willing to go the extra mile to do whatever it takes, right? To create something different in their lives because they know that they deserve it, right? Who are willing to be coachable, who don't think they know it all because I don't know it all. I don't know it all, right? I have people that I'm connected with consistently to help me grow in my business. So the know-it-all mentality, you know, it's like that's for the birds, right? We all have room to grow. We all need to be aspiring for more. We all need to be connected with someone who wants to see us win, who knows our business, who is putting us on a path for success. So if you are committed to earn your next six figures, you're ready to scale your business to 10K plus months, uh, I look forward to having a conversation with you. Thank you so much uh, for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing this. Uh, again, my name is Chanel Washington, profit strategist, serial entrepreneur, registered nurse, business consultant, pumpkin pies mommy, and Philly girl living in the A. And I work with smart, successful lady bosses, helping them earn their next six figures. Uh, I look forward to having a conversation with you. Post your comments below if you got anything uh, from this live stream. Uh, and I'll see you the next time. More Radiance.